Okay, ready? In three, two, one. Hey guys. Hi guys, Hi it's, guys. Um, it's Naz. I'm Daniel. And uh, welcome back to our channel. And for those of you who haven't subscribed, you know exactly what to do for more content like this. So finally, we managed to find some time together, together for us to sit down and make a video together. Um, we haven't done, we haven't been able to do that for like weeks now, right? Because of our schedules. But um, in good time too, because we just got an email notification. And what are we getting an email notification? Mm -hmm. Today's a big day. <laughs> uh, we've been waiting for this for a while. Mm -hmm. And I'm excited that it is finally here. We have um, gotten our results from 23 and me. Yeah. <laughs> for those of you who don't know who that, what that is, that's um, a genetic testing kit that we actually got around Christmas. We got mm -hmm. for Christmas. I gifted you. In fact, you gifted it to me for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Thought it would be fun to kind of do that together. Um, it tests your genetic origin, mm -hmm. um, so you can find out where your roots are from, mm -hmm. um, where your I guess family may come from what part of the world and some other genetic uh, things that mm -hmm. well, I, I think I think it'll be fun to find out. I'm excited. I'm are you, a little. Are you nervous? I was going to ask you something. Um, well, I actually got a notification last week that mine uh, were available, but first we didn't have any time, and also um, yours weren't available. Mine took so longer. They, I don't know, what do they find? I, I think that means <laughs> that my DNA was more complex and that I am maybe perhaps a little more highly involved. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's what I think. That's it. Because it took more time. I'm I yeah, I'm a little nervous too. I'm nervous. I I mean I mean I mean I mean, I, mean, I think we should make some predictions. You first. Me? Yeah. Well, I was born in East Africa, and I grew up there. Um, but my parents, uh, and their parents, and their parents, and their parents um, were from India, and they moved over to Kenya. So I think that I'm going to be disappointed, and it's going to be predominantly like from India. That's where I think. I think you're going to have more of a mix than you actually think. I hope so. I, I really do. So, India is very diverse. That's Plus, true. to get from India to Kenya, you had to, your ancestors had to travel along. Well, there's bound to be some mixing along the way, I think. So, it's just one ocean. And you... We'll find out. <laughs> um, what about you? Me, I am expecting to be 100% Korean, which is my background. Um, Why would you think that? I just, I think Korean. I thought you think like Swedish or mm. something. <laughs> Korea is a homogenous society, and so there's not a lot of mixing. It, it was never really colonized by the Europeans. Uh, the French were there for a little bit, and then they had that period during World War II where Japan was there, and it was really not a pleasant part of history. So there, there was some genetic mixing there. And do you think you might have some Japanese? I, I don't know. Mm. If I do, that would be interesting. She said Swedish because she's joking. And um, my last name is Carlson, but that's because I'm adopted. But um, ethnically, I'm Korean. I think you forget that sometimes. Well, I grew up in the States. Let's do it. We, we're going to log in. <laughs> oh, by the way, do you get this kit in a box and then you yeah. spit in a tube? We actually made a video of that. But I don't know what happened to the sound. But you know what? Here's a clip of it. I'm sure I'll figure something out.
now that you've seen that, let's uh, let's go ahead. Let's log that in. was very pleasant being able to do that, right? I right. think I won though. Um, so let's sign in. You ready for this? Because this is your report. Oh, mine first. Yeah. Okay. Oh, do you want to do mine first? Oh, no, let's do it. Do you want a drum roll? Oh, I'll give you a drum roll. Uh. <laughs> let's see if you can do it. Oh, that was pretty good. Okay, so now what? Talk to a genetic counselor. Uh, Talk to us. <laughs> let's just see the results. How do you do Ancestry, that? Ancestry, five reports. Five reports. Should I click on that? Yeah. Nine. Oh my gosh! I knew it. Ninety-five point two percent Korean. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's just crazy. That's really what you thought, right? Yes. Should I click on that? Let's see what it says. Andres ancestry composition. Whoa, Korean, ninety-five point two percent. Yeah. Japanese. Oh, two point five percent Japanese. So we're ninety-five point two percent Korean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's kind of boring, but it's not, it's not a surprise. Yeah. I mean, you're 99.8% East Asian and Native, Amer Native American. All right. And then you're 2.5% Japanese. Let's colonize, okay. And then broadly East Asian. Is Japan, Korea, China, Mongolia, and Eastern Russia. Huh. You see that? Here's a timeline. From there. So basically, you're, you, you most likely had a parent or grandparent who was 100% Korean. This person was likely born between 1920 and 1950. So one of your parents was 100% Korean. Most likely, it says. My Korean. pedigree is pretty clean. <laughs> Japanese. Japanese. You most likely had a third great grandparent, fourth great grandparent, fifth great grandparent, or sixth great grandparent, um, who was one hundred was who was one hundred percent Japanese. Mm -hmm. And this person was likely born between seventeen forty and eighteen thirty. I was worried you know, during the time that Japan occupied Korea. Um, during World War II, mm. they forced the Koreans to speak Japanese, take Japanese names. Mm. There were these, they called them comfort women, where Korean women were forced to be, um, uh, you, you know, they were forced to have sex with Japanese soldiers. Uh, so there was some rape going on, and it was it's really, really a dark time for Korean history. Mm. Uh, and there's a lot of acrimony between the Japanese and Koreans to this date. And there is some mixing in the DNA because of that, and I'm happy that this predates that yeah. mixing mm -hmm. because that would have been, you know, I don't know, it was just an unpleasant time period. Anyway, so that's that. I do like Japanese food. I think sometimes more than Korean food. I, I, I really like Tokyo. Yeah. And we had such a great time in Yokohama and with our Japanese friends. Probably because I'm Japanese. <laughs> All right, let's go back and. I um, mean, there was one person that was 100% like Japanese. 2.5% right? right? is not a lot. I'm mostly Korean. Yeah, I think right. everybody else has been Korean. So. All right, so let's have a look. Now you. All right, I'm gonna find this. Ready? Ooh, yep. so five reports. Yep. Nervous. Huh? Nervous. Come on. Nervous. 100% South Asian Oh, what's that? But yeah mm. <laughs> I'm 100% South Asian It basically consists of diverse populations of India, Pakistan, Afghanistan Bangladesh. No, there's 0.1% European. Well, we... Ooh. 
Less than 0.1% uh, Jewish. That's it. Lakayam, uh, you're Jew. So the Jewish is you. Okay, so it's interesting. You most likely had a fourth grandparent, fifth grandparent, sixth grandparent, or seventh grandparent, or greater grandparent who was 100% Jewish. 100% Ashkenazi Jewish. That's how you pronounce it. Mm -hmm. This person was likely born between 1710 and 1800s. And I'll see your relatives. You'll 904. Well, wow. nice surprise. No, <laughs> I have cousins and God knows what in Canada. Right? It's going to be predominantly in Canada. Mm -hmm. Look, it's taking so much time. See? It's me. And then close family to second cousins, including siblings. Parents, children, grandparents, grandchildren, aunts, uncles, first and second cousins. Four. Huh? Third to fourth cousins. But <laughs> the blue is just many. Because <laughs> there's so many fifth to distant cousins. <laughs> it's just many. Give you a there's, there's too many. Just many. I gotta be more Indian now. <laughs> There's many, don't worry, there's many, don't worry, there's many. <laughs> you have 10 to 15 DNA relatives. Wow, that's people who took the 23 and me, right? Mm -hmm. And then England. 20 to 25, mm -hmm. England, the United Kingdom. 70 DNA relatives who live in Canada. Yeah, we know like yeah. 20 of them. <laughs> no, I know 70 of those probably. <laughs> So, 390 DNA relatives in the United States, so... But you pay all that money to find out something that your parents told you anyway. <laughs> I thought, it's come on, like how did they, how would they know? A waste of money. <laughs> we told you. How would they, how would they know? They don't know what, you know, what their parents got up to and what their parents got up to. Sometimes people lie. Mm. Well, if we have kids, I'm going to mess it up. Sorry to mess up your 100%. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so last year, back in November, we did this travel tag with a couple of YouTubers and we tagged a few people. And um, we have another YouTuber that has now um, answered some of our questions and continued on with the travel tag. Thank you so much for doing that, firstly, because it's just so fun just to see it grow, right? And see where, I mean, there's so many different YouTubers and their channel, and then they tag some other people, other people. so it's really nice to have started this and just to see this, like, roll roll over and, 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 and see more, more and more people do it, mm -hmm. so. And who is that? Um, and why don't you tell them who, who it is? It's the Patels. Yeah, we really like their channel. Actually, you can definitely check them out. I'm gonna post a link in the description and um, also highlight it up here. Mm -hmm. It's here, right? Is it? Is it here? Something there. Okay. Hundred <laughs> percent Indian. Yes. Possibly related. <laughs> To the Patels, thank you so much for playing our game. You guys definitely need to check out his channel. Really cool. Actually, this is about in New Jersey, right? He's mm -hmm. in New Jersey. Yeah. And maybe one of these days we can finally meet up and hang out, right? Yeah. I think that will be really fun. So if you haven't already, definitely check out his channel. Subscribe to his channel. You won't regret it. Or you will if you don't. <laughs> right. That's it. Thank you mm -hmm. for watching. It's actually quite late here, so we are going to sign out and see you in the next vlog, guys. Bye! Don't forget to subscribe!